Thank you to Shockbyte Server Hosting for sponsoring this video. What is going on guys? My name is Timothy or Timmybug and today I am going to show you how to make your own high quality poster. And the last video did really, really well. So if we could get this video to do that again, that'd be absolutely awesome. I think I'm more helpful and I provide more information in this video. So hopefully you guys will really enjoy. So to start, you will need a couple of things. You will need access to a PC, access to a printer, paper for as many posters as you're going to make, scissors, mounting putty, and packing tape. So once you've gathered all of these items together, go online and find and save an image that you want to use as your poster. Just click Save Image As and go ahead and save that. Then print your poster out. So next you are just going to want to cut around the white edge of your poster. Make sure you get all of that completely trimmed off and get it to where you see no white edges on any side. There we go. Now this next step may be a bit difficult to do, and that is acquiring clear packing tape. I would just look around, maybe ask a neighbor or two, and eventually you should be able to get access to clear packing tape. Also, sometimes your local library, where you may use your printer or PC, may also have clear packing tape. Hey, I'm just going to take 30 quick seconds out of the video to tell you about today's sponsor. Start the timer now. Today's sponsor is Shockbyte Server Hosting. They offer a wide variety of all kinds of servers from Ark Survival Evolved to Minecraft to Minecraft Bedrock to Rust, just tons of really cool servers. They promise that your server will always be up. They have tons of awesome tools like built-in mods and plugins that you can install automatically, and you can start your own Minecraft server for you and your friends for as little as $2.50 a month. It's absolutely crazy. If you want to check out Shockbyte Server Hosting, the top link in the description down below is my affiliate link. I will get a small cutback from the sale if you do decide to purchase a Minecraft server, create an account with them, have fun, make a server for your friends, and let's get back to making some high quality posters. So once you've got your poster and your clear packing tape, go ahead and find about where the poster would end, and we're going to go long ways so that there aren't more lines in the poster. And try to get as smooth of a cut as you can, that way there's minimal amounts. And we're not actually going to lay this over the edge, but I am going to lay it close to the edge. And make sure to try to get all the wrinkles out of your packing tape. Try to overlay it just a little bit with the other packing tape. There'll obviously be some lines in your poster, but it shouldn't be that terrible. And from a distance, no one will even be able to tell that there are lines there. Now, once you get to an edge, try to get all of your folds on the back side of the poster. So, for instance, I'll put this one on the edge of the poster, and I'm going to fold everything around to be at the back of the poster. So now, since we've got tape, you know, up here... We'll just fold this over on the side. And you may mess up the first time or two. That's okay. Just keep trying, and you'll get pretty good at folding this. And then just fold that other tab over. And it's barely even noticeable on the edge that you're using packing tape at all. Now, obviously, this isn't going to look absolutely perfect. There will be some wrinkles and maybe some edges that are in weird places on some sides, but overall, it should look pretty good. So once you've covered up the entire front of the poster in clear packing tape, now you're going to need your putty, and we're going to stick it to the wall. So now at this point, you can use either tape rings or putty, but you're going to want to take four either tape rings or a little bit of putty and put it in every corner of the poster, and then just stick it to the wall. Make sure it's level, obviously. And you've got your very own high-quality poster. 
Now I will say if you use tape rings there is a chance it'll pull the wall off when you pull if you go to ever take the poster down so just letting you know of that. And there you have it guys, that is how to make your very own high quality poster for your room. The last video got a ton of views, if we can do that again with this video that would be absolutely awesome. If you know of someone who wants to make their own posters, consider sharing this video with them. And also, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you stop enjoying the content. I'm going to be making more poster tutorials like this, how to make an even higher quality poster, and coming soon is how to make a big poster like my Marvel poster up at the top. If you want some merch, some Timmy Bug Productions merch, check the link down below or you can go to my YouTube channel art and click on the little icon that will take you straight to my merch stores. And thank you again to Shockbite Server Hosting for sponsoring this video. Goodbye. Cause I'm fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds You won't see me crying I'm fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds Fully stacked diamonds You won't see me crying Have my fully stacked diamonds Fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds You won't see me crying I'm fully stacked diamonds Fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds You won't see me crying Have my fully stacked